Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to our webinar. I'm delighted to welcome you all. Um, I hope today is going to be an insightful and potentially transformative webinar for our attendees. Um, the title of the webinar today is Total Experience Unleashed, the triple impact of customer, partner, and employee engagement. Um, today, this webinar is presented by Pisano and TCXA. And I really like to extend our gratitude as TCXA um, to Pisano for hosting this very, very interesting um, webinar. Pisano are esteemed partners of TCXA and together with Pisano, we hope to lead the way in VOC and the feedback domain and bridging the gap between CX analytics and actionable feedback and VOC platforms. The purpose of today's session is to deep dive into the world of total experience, also known as TX, and explore the fusion of business consultancy with voice of the customer platforms. Together, we're gonna to unravel how this synergy can revolutionize your customer experience strategy, drive exceptional results, and unlocking the triple impact of customer, partner, and employee engagement. In the first part of the webinar, we will focus on customer experience and the importance of understanding that customer sits at the heart of every business. How are the customers perceived by your business? How is your business perceiving their customers? And how do we determine the success of our future experience? We're gonna explore with TCXA and Pisano the different facets of customer experience and how they shape the future of businesses. Then in the second part, we will illuminate a little bit on the value of partner experience and its impact. Businesses not thrive in isolation, but in symbiosis with their partners. So here we're gonna uncover the importance of nurturing partnerships and delivering value to our customers through our partnerships and understanding how partnerships impacts the overall experience strategy. And finally, in the third part of the session, we will dive into the impact of employee experience on business performance, but also on customer experience delivery. It's been often said that happy employees result in happy customers. And we will uncover this correlation, looking at secrets to enhancing employee experience and positively influencing your business performance and your customer experience. Now today, to guide us through this labyrinth of experiences and understand the triple impact of customer, partner, and employee experience, we have experts from Pisano and TCXA who, are gonna, who will bring their profound insights and extensive experience in these areas to bring forward knowledge and, we hope, inspiration to build better strategies. To all our attendees, I hope that this webinar will leave you with a fresh perspective on managing experiences and that you will be able to immediately put all that knowledge into actions within your organizations. Thank you all for joining us today. Um, and now, without further ado, let's dive into the first part of the session about customer experiences. But before we do so, I would like to let all my colleagues today uh, on this call briefly introduce themselves before we dive into the focus of the first topic, customer experiences. Thank you. Good. I suggest I quickly start so we complete the T6A side. Uh, my name is Jeroen, uh, Head of Customer Experience at the Customer Experience Agency. We're going to talk more and more about what we do, what we see, um, the background in customer experience, work for Dollar Shave Club, all supermarkets, so really pragmatic. And I think that's also a nice narrative for today. Uh, let me continue. Thank you. Sure. Let me continue. Thank you. Uh, I'm Shebna Maidenar. I'm the director of customer success at Pisano, and I've been working in the area of marketing CX uh, since more than 25 years. Uh, happy to be here in this webinar, and we'll be discussing about the CX uh, in a couple of minutes with Shebna Baikal. Let me give the word to Shebna, please. Thank you. And I'm Shebna Baikal. I'm working as the pre sales manager in Pisano. I have 
above uh, 25 years of experience in the applications industry, and I'm thrilled to be part of this uh, webinar. So we are looking forward to sharing you with the experiences and see how it continues. So I'm giving the word uh, to Arsun to introduce himself. Oh, oh, hello, everyone. My name is Ersun, uh, and I work as Strategy and Business Development Director at Pisano. Uh, I hope uh, you will be enjoying with us uh, 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 the, today together. Thank you. And I'm giving the word to Sinem now. Thanks, thanks, uh, Ersun. So uh, I'm Sinem. Uh, I'm working as People and Culture Director uh, at Pisano. Um, so we are going to take over the, the employee experience part, part with Oljai. So Oljai, if you want, uh, you can just introduce yourself. So yeah, Thank you, Sinem. Thank you so much. And this is Oljai. I have been working as uh, Employee Experience Responsible Business Manager in Pisano. Uh, I'm quite happy to be here and quite excited. And thanks, Jerome and Enzo, for having us and enjoy. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Ojai. Thank you, team, for your introductions. Um, now let's dive in to the first uh, pillar of the total experience, which is customer experience. I'm going to invite Yehun here, um, customer experience director at TCXA, to talk about trends and observations from the market. And... Um, and then we're looking forward to uh, interventions also from our Pisano partners. Thank you. Thank you, Enzo. I think and uh, as a ground rule, let's keep it interactive, guys. If you have any questions, just put it in the chat. Uh, besides all the sessions, we will be happy to answer all your questions. I think you have an unique combination of people in the call that are from a strategy perspective, technology perspective. So it's, 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 it's not happening every day. You have so many expertise in one webinar. To, to, to bridge a little bit about CX, um, we started three years ago. Enzo will talk a little bit more on how we work in the, in the next couple of minutes. But I just want to briefly touch upon what do we mean if we talk about CX, right? Because in every organization, you have a different meaning of CX. And if we talk about CX, we like to use the analogy of the doctors in the 20s, people working with the body called doctors. And this stage in time, every specialist of the human body consists of specialist and that's the same with cx right so we really talk about end to end another very important thing not new but very important to emphasize is we talk about customer experience we talk about people and building relationships right and if you build relationships like in real life if you think about the top five relationships you have in your life it's all about a couple of things it's about talking clearly to communicate which we mostly refer to marketing it's about engaging to really have the conversations, but also very important, it's about listening, it's about the feedback. So we can come up with many, many great concepts, but if we're not listening and collect the feedback from the customers, um, we're actually, it's just a one-way traffic, right? And that's what we also try to do with, with CX these days, keep it pragmatic, you know, bring on prototypes and most importantly, collect feedback on how customers actually see it. Uh, a couple of other things we see, and, and even those things I just mentioned, you could also bridge to very innovative concepts, right? If we talked about AI, if we talk about the metaverse, it's not just another silo. We also there need to have feedback from customers. And that's what we also see in, in, in CX trends currently. IT is our best friend, right? Without IT infrastructures, it's hard to gain excellence in CX. Without data as a great friend, it's hard to gain CX. As a friend, so that's why we collaborate very, very closely uh, with Pisano to actually not just come up with strategic concepts and dance around beautiful slides, but just get to execution and really set things up and learn quick, fill fast, and bring customer experience to the next level. A um, few other things that we see also happening is within organizations that. Customer experience used to be a sort of a trend department. Oh, now we also have a customer experience manager, but it's actually so important in organizations that we also see that a McDonald's, at a Starbucks, but also crypto companies start to appoint chief customer experience officers to really have that one and only responsibility to look across the silos and take the responsibility to bring in the customer voice in boardrooms. And we really believe that's something continue will happening. 
And that's just good, right? Keep it pragmatic, make it part of your organization and bring it forward. Um, I'm gonna invite Enzo to quickly, briefly talk about how we as a customer experience agency do that. And what are the most, in our, in our essence, working with a lot of projects across the globe from retail to finance. And I sometimes say, people ask, do you have a sector's focus? And that is pretty inspiring to me because sometimes a financial partner needs a retail approach. Sometimes a B2B company needs a D2C approach. So I think it's all about blending it in. And so may I invite you just quickly to talk about how we have our guiding principles on how to approach that? Yes, thank you, Evan. Um, thank you for setting the scene. Um, it's very important that we understand, you know, the correlation between the agency like TCXA that helps you understand your, your customer experience agency, your customer experience and the vision that you need to bring forward in the near future. But also like Jeroen was mentioning it, leveraging technology, leveraging IT, leveraging data and input from our customers to actually create tangible next steps to develop and to grow the customer experience. Um, the goal of this webinar is, is to highlight how the symbiosis between TCXA and Pisano brings the value. And what I would like to do now before our colleagues from Pisano highlight you know, the, the value of the platform is talk a little bit about TCXA and the fundamentals that we believe help make the VOC and the feedback from our customers useful, relevant, and most importantly, understandable by everybody within the organization. And in order to do that, we have multiple frameworks, ways of working, but all in all, the fundamentals is to start from the brand, understanding the value of the business, how it's perceived by its audience, mapping, of course, personas and understanding markets and comp on competition to ideate specific and differentiating CX principles. And that will fundamentally guide the experience in the short, medium, and long-term with a direction, a path for the organization to work on, knowing that it's matching with what we've identified in our audience research, in our market research, and it's true to the trends of the current market. Now, how do we make sure that all the departments are connected? Well, fundamentally, the customer journey is that overarching architecture that helps us bring everybody together. Marketing understands, communication understands, sales understand the value of the overarching customer experience and work together to deliver that customer experience. But also later on, we will talk about how to coordinate partners on roadmaps, on projects to actually build relevant customer experiences. And all, then I will hand over to Pisano, but fundamentally then the, the, the KPIs and the long-term vision is easier to be implemented because we have the backbone of the customer journey, because we have the CX principles and the vision and the strategy of the brand, we can go to technologists, voice of VOC platforms like Pisano to pull out the data and understand where we're doing good jobs, where we can improve and make that a long-term game that impacts customer experience, not just on activations, but all across the steps of our journey. And I'm gonna invite now um, Sebnem from Pisano to talk a little bit more about how the platform picks up that data, that information, and how it then is made, can, can be useful and comprehensive for the companies. Thank you, Sebnem. Thank you, Enzo. Uh, thank you, Aaron, for the nice talk. Uh, welcome to the first session of our webinar in the case of Total Experience Unleashed, the triple impact of customer, partner, and employee engagement. As you suggested, it's really important to focus on all three of them to understand the total experience. Uh, so in this session, uh, we dive into the world of total experience and explore the fusion of business consultancy with the voice of customer platform. As you suggested, the most important thing is that the, that the corporation understands it. So uh, the voice of customer platform actually helps the understanding. And we shall discuss how this powerful synergy can revol revolutionize uh, your customer experience strategy, driving exceptional results and unlocking the triple impact of customer, partner and employee engagement. So uh, as we all know, in today's competitive landscape, uh, delivering exceptional customer experiences has become a real key differentiator for everyone in the market. 
So organizations who prioritize the customer experience consistently outperform their competitors. That's why investing the right technology, right tools, and the right strategies is very crucial. So uh, Shebnam, uh, can you share with us how Pisano platform supports the CX initiatives in this place? Okay. Gladly, uh, Pisano is actually um, all-in-one total experience management platform, and it offers a comprehensive solution to enhance customer experience. There are many different features and functions, but I would like to highlight a couple of those functions. Uh, first of all, the most crucial one is the real-time feedback collection feature, which allows businesses to capture the business uh, customer feedback across various touch points and channels whether to website, mobile application, email, SMS, kiosk, or any other platform, Pisano ensures that organizations stay connected with their customers so that they get the feedback at the right moment to make informed decisions. In addition to that, the platform actually integrates with existing systems and tools like CRM applications, back office applications, so that the organizations can leverage their existing customer data from various data sources, and they can enhance and enrich this information. And by consolidating the data and insights into a single platform, Pisano enables a holistic view of the customer journey. Uh, consolidating the feedback from various touch points is a powerful feature, but it is just the starting point. What derives the real value is the ability to analyze and act upon the collected feedback. And this is where the loop capabilities of Pisano uh, come into play. So uh, let me share with you just a couple of slides. Uh, can yes, you see? We, we are, yes, we oh, see. Right. Okay. So here I would like to introduce you to our feedback cockpit a centralized hub where we gather all the information uh, from the feedback we receive. Cockpit actually enables us to effectively sort, filter, categorize, tag, and act upon the feedback from a single point, ensuring that a, uh, we, a streamlined feedback management process is um, carried out. System also automates actions and creates follow-ups and uh, ensures that the customer concerns are promptly addressed. So it's, it's very critical, but uh, in addition to that, we do not just stop with the inner loop here, not acting on the immediate um, uh, feedback. We, Pisano also enables organizations close the loop on a broader scale, south outer loop. By aggregating and analyzing feedback from multiple customers, we help to identify recurring teams and trends. And this valuable insight allows us to address systemic issues, make strategic improvements, and enhance the overall customer experience. So I just want to um, stop here and to highlight the importance of uh, collaboration with a business consultancy partner. Actually, uh, making a meaning out of these uh, feedbacks and issues requires working with a um, strong uh, business consultancy partner, actually, where TCXA comes into play so that you can make uh, the other loop more effective, we can address the issues, and we can just transform the customer feedback into actionable changes, so which will, in the end, uh, drive customer satisfaction, loyalty, and business growth. Moving on, uh, actually, uh, as we have mentioned, uh, Pisano uh, is beyond mere data collection. But what we're trying to do is just to go beyond mere data collection. And we are just trying to gain a deeper understanding of customer sentiments, preferences, and areas for improvement. So the platform leverages artificial intelligence and natural language processing tools so to provide a comprehensive text analysis capabilities. Thanks to the multi-language capabilities, we can collect feedback in more than 40 languages. And for all these languages, the platform offers keyword analysis uh, 
Third analysis with sentiment scores, enabling businesses to uncover important words and phrases along with associated sentiments in customer feedback. In addition to that, provides an overall sentiment score that gives businesses a quick overview of the general sentiment. We also do support content categorization, which the businesses can use to organize and analyze feedback based on predefined categories, unveiling patterns and trends related to various aspects of the customer experience. These analyses, as you can see, can also be presented in the form of word class to highlight the key drivers, sentiments, and the prominent themes. And maybe one more thing to emphasize is that, as uh, Jerome has mentioned, technology continuously change. So as new technologies emerge, Fisano remains dedicated to enhancing its solution by incorporating cutting edge technologies and methodologies to deliver even more powerful open text analytics and capabilities. Uh, having said that, another key differentiator of the platform is its scalability and flexibility. Um, the platform can accommodate businesses of all sizes, starting from startups to large enterprises with customizable surveys, hierarchies, fee structures, integration into existing systems, and the ability to adapt to evolving needs, we ensure that uh, the customers have a tailored and seamless experience uh, for their unique needs. So let us dive into real life cases. Um, Shebnam, can you please share with us how this actually happens in real life? How does Pisano address the unique needs of the customers? Sure. Uh, we serve more than 100 companies in more than 20 countries in 12 industries, so including retail, finance, uh, insurance, hospitality, travel, and so many others. So some of the brands we uh, cooperate can be listed as Eurail, Raiffeisen Bank, AXA Insurance, Landmark Group, Sodexo, Italy, you know, Kiko Milano, some of the uh, great known brands. So as businesses grow, and customer experience requirements change, uh, Pisano remains a reliable and adaptable tool which supports ongoing improvements and innovation. So whether it's scaling up the feedback collection efforts, expanding to multiple locations or customizing the platform to align with specific branding and workflows, Pisano always provides the necessary flexibility to meet their unique need for the organization, actually. Uh, we can give as example, for example, uh, thanks to Pisano's multi-language capability, URail uh, can collect feedback from all countries they operate via their website. Or Turkish Airlines rolled out the platform to almost 30 departments to hear the voice of customer uh, and making the company understand the feedback that comes from the customers. Uh, even the in-flight entertainment system. And they always turn the insights into actions uh, to provide better omnichannel customer experience. Uh, we can give more and more examples for Raiffeisen Bank, Landmark. Uh, they use Pisan as a single platform uh, to, to measure the experience management in different countries. So uh, we can see that every company, depending on the strategy, uh, and insights that they get has to have a good business strategy along with a good voice of customer platform. Uh, so I think we can go on with the question and answers. If there's any questions, we would be happy to answer it. Thank you, Sebnan. Thank you both. Thank you. Very, Thank you. Uh, very informative. Um, if any of you have some questions, please post them in the chat. We, we can wait a few seconds. If any questions, we're happy to answer them. Yeah, while we're waiting, I, I think it's session. interesting to, uh, to, 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 I think th the beauty of where we are today is that technologies like Pisano uh, can bring in results very quickly, right? We're not talking about a 12 month implementation of a platform and then show the value to the, to the, to, 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 to you know, to the business. Shabnam, just may I invite you just to quickly brief on how quickly could you think, set things up? And, and, and based on infrastructure and how, how quick should we get to business results for our webinar listeners? Shebnam Baikal, would Shibnar, you like 
I will leave it to you because as the customer success manager, probably you've experienced uh, use cases where uh, customers implement within days. So, so maybe you can share uh, your experiences on that. Sure. Uh, actually, uh, the customers can go live very quickly. Uh, if you go to Gartner Peer Insights and search for Pisano, you will uh, see an independent customer review saying that it was uh, it was uh, just four days to go live with Pisano. So we really have a good, very uh, great team and Pisano who is helping to go live uh, in a very short time. So it's really important to form the business strategy in the beginning, to plan the actions and to go live and uh, always to go through the insights uh, and turn them into actions and always try to make them better every single day. So it's a long uh, journey, uh, yes. but it's not a very uh, long process. But uh, if anyone is interested in the details, we will be more than happy to share with them in a separate meeting. But exactly. it's a very short time to go live. Perfect. Cool. One more Thank you so much. Uh, I would like to add to Shebnam's uh, remarks sure. is that uh, we have talked about the business consultancy that TCXA provides, the powerful platform. Actually, one of the most uh, critical differentiators of Pisano is the team, the, the team actually starting uh, from the initial phase, continuing with the delivery and the customer care and all the um, stages. Uh, we are very actively involved uh, with the clients, with our clients. So uh, it's very important uh, to be able to use the processes and the capabilities of the tool to fulfill the customer requires the requirements and to grow with the customer, to grow with the technology. So it's a, an ongoing process and uh, we are very uh, invested in uh, providing the best service to our customers in this process. Cool. Thank you. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great. So that was the first part of our webinar around CX. We'll have a short break, a few two minutes, and then we're going to dive into how partner experiences and understanding our partner ecosystem is relevant to building and delivering customer experiences. Thank you. See you in the next session. Welcome back to our second block about partner experiences. Before we dive in, um, we're going to have two participants from Pisano for this session, Ersan, Ersan and Sebne, who are going to detail in a few minutes Hello how again. Pisano provides feedback from partners to improve the customer experience. To set the scene, um, Jeroen and myself will dive into um, exactly what is PX, what do we mean by PX, and how it impacts both B2C and B2B domains. Some trends and observations within the realm of partner experiences, and then specifying and looking into understanding your partner ecosystem as one of the multiple services that TCXA can provide. Um, so let's dive in. Partner experiences, also known as PX, is if not the most crucial, but one of the most significant components of the customer experience as it forms the broader experience ecosystem, if I could say, and it's directly influencing the experience that we deliver to our customers, both in B2C and B2B domains. Therefore, it's fundamental to understand your ecosystem, know who are your partners and how they impact your customer experience, but also your B2B experience. Transactions, communications that we have with our partners are fundamental to delivering good business, and also supporting each other for mutual benefits. With TCXA, we work to understand who are our partners, their goals, their challenges, and looking to improve the relationship between partners, businesses, and customers to fundamentally deliver positive experiences that foster trust, collaboration, and ultimately better customer experiences. In fact, in B2C, often partners can be the first point of contact of your customers. And therefore, their experience directly impacts the perception of your brand. 
Similarly, in B2B, partners are an integral part of expanding your reach, complementing capabilities, fixing business solutions, and also unlocking the potential of your product or service to boost the bottom line results and extend your market reach. Therefore, it's fundamental as part of your customer experience to spend some time understanding your partner experience ecosystem. And I'm going to allow now Yeroud to tell us a bit more about what do we mean by partner ecosystem and how it's important with feedback and with VOC to better the capabilities of a partner ecosystem. Sure, thanks Enzo. And um, somebody said a couple of years ago, you know, it's not about B2C or B2B, it's human to human. And of course we all love these tiles and LinkedIn posts about that, but it's actually the case. Because if you look at the last couple of years, including ourselves, even when I was a customer experience director as a large global brand, I was only focusing on our brand and our customer. And we created journeys around, you know, uh, it's, it's brand X, and then they go through the awareness phase and to the engage phase and the loyalty phase. But in re reality, it is not the case. In reality, it's, of course, our customer facing multiple different brands, multiple different services, but also multiple different ecosystems. Let's take hospitality as an example. Right, we work for a lot of hospitality brands from a Nobu towards a student uh, hotel, which is called Social Hub these days for Marriott. And if you take your travels or you plan your travels, you already start on Google and different platforms, you start on content blogs, you start on Instagram. Before you actually get to the booking of the travel, you already faced multiple different platforms and systems. And then let's go to the travel phase. If you actually go to the airport, the airport is also. A part of the a very large part of the ecosystem, the experiences you have in the airport app, or think about um, traveling actually in the air, in the airplane. So you face multiple different uh, sources, and that's why we say, you know what? Let's not talk about B two B or B two C. Let's talk. Let's bring it together in partner experiences and really bring together and map not just a journey from your brand to your customer, but map the full ecosystem. And that's where it gets interested, right? Because Every brand, B2B, B2C, is facing different challenges on infrastructure, IT, uh, technology, etc. whatsoever. But there's one thing that is very important for all of us, and that's the feedback. So a very important part of partner experience is how could we collect as brand A with all the major touch points and major brands that your customer are facing feedback and work together? And that's what we really see uh, evolving on, not just mapping the journey from you to your brand, but really have a face in the full ecosystem. And yeah, that's pretty inspiring. That requires collaboration, right? If you face as an airport uh, in Istanbul or in Amsterdam, and you see that uh, Ryanair or KLM is a very major player in the customer journey of your customer, we need to talk with them because they're, collecting feedback, we're collecting feedback. Take that to supermarkets. Coca-Cola is actually getting feedback in, but Waitrose and Tesco is doing the same. How about if we blend that together? And how rich and how great would the customer feedback be and how even better we could perform on that? And I think that's why the partner experience is very, very important. Taking really that step-by-step -step broad with the ecosystem towards implementation. Thank you, Jeroen. Now, if I can build on that um, before our partners at Pisano explain to us how you know, that could work with their platform, I think it's, it's fundamental to understand that partner experiences, customer experiences, all together are going through some same shifts. People are looking to go digital. People are looking to personalize and enable customers, but also partners to impact more the ultimate delivery of the experience. And I think Without a tool, without the right infrastructure, without the right data points, it's hard to understand the full spectrum of what we're delivering and what we're building. And therefore, it's even more important to look at that ecosystem and understand all the different components, big or small, that will impact the customer experience. I'm going to invite now Ersan from Pisano to tell us a bit more about how their platforms allows identification and leveraging of partner data and information. Thank you, Enzo. 
So as you explained well, partner experience management is a strategic approach that actively manages and enhances the experiences of business partners throughout their journey with your organization. So it goes beyond traditional customer experience management, recognizing the unique dynamics and needs of B2B relationships. So Pisano is a comprehensive total experience management platform designed to empower businesses in optimizing their B2B collaborations and achieving outstanding partner satisfaction with its intuitive interface and powerful uh, features. So Pisano enables organizations to collect partner feedback, map the partner journey, streamline actions and workflows, and gain valuable insights through advanced analytics. So after briefly giving Pisano's point of view about partner experience, I would like to ask Shebnam a question to go into a little more detail. So Shebnam, what are the differentiating features of Pisano in supporting partner experience? Um, thank you. Uh, maybe uh, we can start with the first standout feature of Pisano as its ability to facilitate multi-tier feedback collection. This, because this feature is particularly valuable in the context of partner experience management, as it allows businesses to gather insights not only from the direct partners, but also from the end customers who utilize their services. This comprehensive feedback approach provides a deeper understanding of the partner experience and helps to identify areas for improvement throughout the entire ecosystem. But before uh, diving into details, I just want to highlight that we as a platform can support the multi-tier uh, feedback solution, but it is very, very important to collaborate by our business consultancy partners to be able to define the overall structure, overall ecosystem, to identify the journeys, to identify the touch points. We have the tool, but it is very, very critical to be able to use the tool effectively. But uh, so it's, it's uh, this collaboration means a lot uh, for us because otherwise we don't, uh, uh, the customer wouldn't be able to use the tool effectively. I just want to highlight this feature. And uh, actually, when we are talking uh, about partner management, we are mostly, no, not necessarily, but mostly focusing on B2B relationships. In these B2B relationships, Actually, the corporate uh, we define corporate entities as customers. So uh, when we are dealing with a particular customer, actually we are dealing with a particular corporate, and our platform enables businesses to collect feedback from the individual people within the organization while collecting the feedback from the company as a whole. This this is another uh, perspective on multi-level feedback approach. So it actually provides valuable insights into the experiences and satisfaction levels of different roles and stakeholders within a single organization. So people can, uh, businesses can gain a comprehensive understanding of the needs, preferences, and pain points of individual users within their corporate customers because their expectations may change depending on their position, depending on uh, their background. So we can address specific concerns and tailor uh, offerings and provide personalized experiences to the diverse needs of individual customers uh, and corporate entities. So let me uh, share you a um, sample screen Please. so that maybe uh, we can just... Uh... I think you're with me. Yes. So here uh, you can see all your interactions with the corporate customer as well individual uh, customers within. You can see their roles, their past feedback across different touch points, as well as any notes, so that you can prioritize and act on feedback according to the roles and individual needs of the customers. And also there is the advanced analytics and reporting features. We enable businesses Segment feedback based on roles, departments, or any other relevant criteria specific to the industry. So uh, allowing them to gain deep insights into the specific requirements of different stakeholders and drive targeted import improvements. 
So uh, we can also see the information about the company as a whole, like the contract details, uh, users in charge, and any other details, including notes, meeting notes, and to-do notes, etc. So that you, from a single point of view, you can see the company as a whole, and you can drill down into the individual people details. Maybe uh, one more thing I would like to highlight is that in addition to examining your corporate individually, you can step back and see all of the companies as a group segmented based on your particular requirements and have an overall picture of your status in with the partner ecosystem. So, uh, Thank you, Shabna. Thank you very You're much. Welcome. So I have another question at this point. Uh, so how does Pisano empower organizations to make informed decisions and enhance the overall partner experience? Uh, we provide comprehensive interaction tracking capabilities, which further enhance the B2B experience from initial engagement to ongoing support, every touch point, and every communication can be tracked, analyzed, and this helps identifying business patterns, trends, and areas for improvement. And this data-driven approach enables organizations to fine-tune their strategies and enhance the overall experience for their partners as well as corporate customers. And we also have automated actions, reports, and digests. So, uh, you have the necessary tools to efficiently manage your partner experience. You can be confident that you'll be promptly informed of any areas that require attention, enabling you to take timely and targeted actions to optimize partner satisfaction and drive business growth. And digests are actually another valuable feature offered by Pisano because they provide summarized and consolidated information about partner feedback, journey mapping, and other metrics. So these regular updates allow you to stay up to date with the latest insights, trends, and without being overwhelmed by the excessive information. So overall, uh, what we can say that with these features and functions, Pisano is utilized by numerous customers across various industries to effectively manage partner experience. Uh, so let me build on uh, some of the use cases as um, Jerome Please. has mentioned. For example, in the retail industry, businesses leverage, uh, our customers leverage Pisano, collect feedback from uh, suppliers, distributors, and other third parties, allowing them to gain insights into their satisfaction levels and identify potential bottlenecks. Our industry, as Shebna Maidunar has mentioned in the previous session, we are working with many uh, large companies, like including uh, Turkish Airlines. So the platform enables businesses to collect and analyze feedback from multiple stakeholders. This could uh, open up to travel agencies, airlines, hotels, customers, so that uh, the system can provide a comprehensive understanding of the travel experience. Actually, this in turn facilitates the collaborative efforts among different industry players to deliver exceptional services and enhance overall travel experience. Maybe I can share with you another example uh, from the automotive sector, Pisano facilitates the gathering uh, of feedback from car dealers, suppliers, and, and customers. So this feedback helps uh, our customers to evaluate the overall product quality, the dealership experience, and overall customer satisfaction. These are just a few of the examples uh, how Pisano's partner experience management capabilities are applied across different industries. So. Uh, by leveraging the platform and also uh, working with um, with business consultancy companies like CXA, businesses can effectively identify uh, their journey, identify the points, and they can just gather, analyze feedback from their partners so that they can use the feedback as an input to identify areas for improvement and foster collaborative relationships. Yeah, and just to, just to just to to build on that one one practical example we did uh, most recently last month with a customer. Of course, we did the basics on 
making customer journey maps towards the customer. But at the same time, we also did the partner, we also mapped the partner experience journey. And what we did as a result is inviting with that client, with that customer, all these partners or all the CRM and e-commerce and the customer experience people from those most important top five partners in one room. And that's where the magic happens, right? That's where you basically could say, okay, guys, which feedback you get from your from our general customer, from our joint customer, and how could we blend that together? And it could even start with sharing Excels on a weekly or daily basis. But most importantly, of course, the dream is to all work in Pisano and say, okay, guys, we only have three, four, five focus customers, and we collect feedback jointly and also exchange feedback so we can optimize our business value or brand value even more. And I think that's a very good example. So don't hesitate. That's my message. That's my outtake. Don't hesitate to not just map the customer experience like we discussed in the first 30 minutes, but please also focus on mapping the partner experience. So who are the most companies within the ecosystem that your customers are facing, but most importantly, work together with them, invite with them, and don't hesitate to really work and collaborate because in the end we have the same goal and it's not just about a single vision customers are everywhere expressions are everywhere experience are everywhere so work together and of course again the dream is to also build that within the same technology and yes yeah thank, thank you, you Jerome. thank you Shabnam. so jerome just uh, uh as i, I just a few notes uh, for the joiners. So uh, as we conclude our discussion on partner experience management, so we now shift our focus to another crucial aspect of total experience management, employee experience. So I, I would like to give the word to you, Enzo, for the next session. Great, thank you, Ersan. Some very interesting insights about partner experiences. And slowly we begin to understand how all that is relevant to the customer experience. And in the third session, we will dive into the employees, the ones behind the scene that are delivering the experience. And they're even more important than the partners. And they're even more important than the customers because they're the ones who have the most impact. And we look forward to diving into the EX block in a few minutes. But before that, we'll take a, a small break. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm just checking the Q&A uh, to see uh, if there are any questions. So uh, there is a question. Uh, what are the advantages of total experience in business and companies? Um, so maybe uh, Jerome or Enzo, uh, from a business perspective, actually, but before giving the word to you, I just want to add a few words. Actually, uh, the focus of this webinar is total experience management because we just didn't want to focus on one perspective of the total experience management. So it is only with the collaboration and uh, fusion of these different uh, parts, actually, you can deliver a real value. But I want to give the word to the business experts. So please feel free uh, to jump in and comment. Well, I think we already answered quite some things. I think it's a great question. Um, I think, I think if you if you ask the question, Mahmoud, what's the role of total experience in business? Uh, I think we could obviously give you a great answer for that. But I think more pragmatic for you and your organization is to unravel it. Right? What's total experience for me and for our clients? And really bring in the framework to say how how could we emphasize on that? And if you think about the advantages. I think it's also a great question, but the advantage is really to collect the feedback beyond your own customer journey. And I think that's, that's, where, that's, where, the, that's where the magic starts. Uh, but also that's where you, as a CX expert within your company, uh, set the scene, uh, bring in your thought leadership to say, hey guys, it's not just about us and our customer, it's about the broader ecosystem. And we already mentioned some examples of hospitality. We mentioned some examples of retail. Uh, but also, of course, from a B2B perspective, it's in essence, people who are buying B2B, they're also buying on Amazon Prime. So they have the same expertise, sorry, they have the same, they expect the same experience in B2B as they do in B2C. So that's why we really believe in this whole 
approach. And if you go about your question, how to gain a competitive edge, I think is this is all about collaboration. If you are daring enough and disrupting enough to call the companies in your ecosystem and say, hey guys, well, we never met, but by the way, we have the same customer journeys. How could we collaborate? I think that's where you really show leadership. And as I said already, in a minimum crawl phase, you will get Excels, but in the dream, you're both in the same Pisano platform and collect feedback and to learn from each other. So I think it's the personal competitive edge to bring in that thought leadership. But most importantly, can you imagine if you travel through Amsterdam with Ryanair and you get a joint feedback email from Ryanair and Schiphol? Hey guys, we're just worried. We're just worried and would love to know how your travel was. I mean, that's where the moment where people really feel expected, uh, uh, respected, right? So, and I think that that's, doesn't sound like the metaverse or all these innovations that we love to talk and love to execute on, but this is the perfect basic, as we always call it with T6A, that makes the difference, that makes people, customers in this case, feel heard. And one uh, more add-on uh, to that um, comment, actually, as uh, we mentioned in our previous se uh, session, we, we focused on like uh, following up the technology, the immersing technologies and like scalability and flexibility. Actually, it's very important for the platform to fulfill that requirement because the scenario uh, Jaron is talking requires uh, agility, scalability, flexibility, underlying technology. So the platform needs to uh, provide that support so that uh, actually you can send a survey, uh, such a survey and get the feedback. So it is uh, actually the vision, the execution, uh, everything all uh, blended in together uh, that uh, makes total experience management count, I guess. Cool. Thank, thank you, Seven, and thank you, Jeroen, for your answers. Um, we have a short break now, intermission, five minutes, and then we're going to look forward to diving in to the final block about EX and employee experiences and how all together they create the total experience potential that we want. Second. Yeah, oh, no, now we can hear you. Start yeah. over. We can't okay. wait. Let's do it. <laughs> Still hear me now? You still hear me? Yes. Yes, we hear you. Great. Awesome. Thank you. Sorry for that. No I was saying no thank you everybody for your patience. Good to have you back from the break. We're going to dive into our third session about employee experience and the role of employee experience and its impact of employee experience on business performance. For this part, we're going to be joined by two of our Pisano partners, Tinem and Oliai, that will help us understand how with our experience, employee experience data, understanding, feedback, we make that relevant to building better and positive customer experiences. Um, but before that, a, uh, a few words from myself and from Jeroen about employee experience. Why is it important to business? And what are some of the benefits of having engaged and positive employee experiences? Um, so just before we look at more specific information, what do we mean by employee experience? It's, it's your colleague, it's your team's perception of his or her journey throughout the touch points of a particular company. Just like we mentioned some examples from hospitality, the travel, the check-in, the stay, all employees also go through different um, touch points, interactions with the company in their workspace. Whether it's technological, whether it's human interactions, all those are important ultimately to deliver a positive experience for our employees. And therefore it's crucial to understand how is that experience? how it's similar to a customer experience with a journey, with some touch points, some interactions, but also some principles. Who do, what do we stand for? What are our values towards our employees? And how do we make sure that we look so much at our customer, but also so much at our employees? Because they're so, so, so important to delivering the ultimate customer experience. And that's what we see in most organizations that attract and retain the best employees they're the most successful because they've nailed down the culture and the experience. They've understand that econ uh, economically viable companies is not about just selling products or services, but it's also about having the right culture, internally the right value to stay competitive and maintain a competitive advantage over other companies in the space. With COVID, there was difficult times. 
pandemic, current recessions, all those impact the employee experience. But as a company, we can make sure that we map out, we understand, and we work to delivering the best employee experience possible. I'm going to invite Jeroen to tell us a bit more about what we've seen in, in employee experience projects and how it's been beneficial to the customer experience and, and to delivering the customer experience ultimately. Thank you, Jeroen. Sure. And um, that's, I think, the beauty of this webinar, taking these three big leaps on customer experience, on partner experience, and employee experience. And I mentioned at the beginning of the first part that to build a relationship, there are a few components, like in real life, right? You talk to people, uh, you engage with people, and you listen to people. So also the feedback part is super important. We started four years ago solely focusing on customer experience because we thought that was the most important part. But very quickly, after mapping great customer journeys and focusing on the strategies, making it practical, working with partners like Pisana to actually get to execution, we saw that there was also another very big important part, which are the partners we discussed in the last 30 minutes. But let's never forget the employees, right? And I always take the analogy of a restaurant. Imagine you arrest, have a, a great restaurant chain or even just a small little beautiful restaurant in Istanbul. You can focus directly to customers, but we have the waiters just talking to our customers. We can never forget about them, right? And especially if you think about new generations, people actually, especially Gen Z, but I think everybody, everyone who's trying to make an effort to fill in a job uh, resume and uh, you know, reaches out to you to actually work for you, they want to be treated like their Amazon Prime purchases. They want to be treated like their favorite fashion store. And that's also building up relationships. So, and that's the beauty of projects we're in currently. We're not just doing focusing solely on customer experience, but while we're mapping customer experience, we're also mapping partner and also MPE experiences. And that's where you really become influential on, on employee strategy and on feedback. And that's just what it is. And, how does it look like practically? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna ask Pisano about feedback and all the technology element. But what we see also talking with IT departments is that we can set up a marketing infrastructure, right? To publish, to talk. We can set up a customer service infrastructure. But HR these days, they also have their also infrastructure. They have their recruitment tooling, they have their feedback tooling. Um, does employees actually get a lot of answers? When do I get paid? So, for example, an FAQ for a customer is so important as well to put that in also for your employees. So this is really where we tie those three together to bring up that total experience. And it goes so broad, but I think that's, that's a very, that's a good, to, to map it and to really have it in place, it's a, it's a very, very, very good first starting point. So, thank you. yeah, thank you. Thank you, Joran. So you, Enzo and Joran, you uh, touched on very important benefits of strength in the employee experience. It's it's definitely uh, the heart of everything now in, in our own business, to be honest. So um, the Odin and I uh, now are going to focus on the, the value proposition of the, the Pisano EX tool. So we all, like all HR professionals, like trying to focus on the experience of our employees, but without a tool, we just recognize that it's really getting difficult to really manage, track, and then analyze all those data. So that's why it, it, it just really provides a strong value proposition. So I just uh, want to start to ask this question, Aldra, to you. So um, in what way um, Pisanix contribute uh, to the experience industry? Thank you very much for this question that we have discussed and told a lot during the development process of Pisano EX. Uh, however, before going through the details of what Pisano EX uh, contributions are for the experience industry, uh, we would like to emphasize one thing, one terminology, uh, meeting customer where they are. We believe that meeting the customer where they are is a very crucial component for the experience world. What we mean with this is to build uh, empathy with the users to better understand what their expectations, feelings, and, and also needs are in order to provide them 
right solutions according to their pain points. So in, in this sense, uh, we have met and collaborated with many HR uh, professionals who have uh, employee-oriented mindset and designed the platform according to their daily needs. Their needs. So we have not designed the platform for only HR professionals, rather with them. For instance, Pisano EX offers a very familiar uh, ground to uh, our HR colleagues uh, by taking very well-known uh, employee lifecycle model as a basis. So in, a, in addition to this, as you uh, shared now, uh, we introduced a new metric called uh, employee lifecycle score to the industry. This metric is fed by the data coming from the several preset surveys uh, that are triggered in the different stage of the employee life cycle. So each of these surveys are strategically positioned to critical uh, touch points where the employees and the employers are interacting with. So by doing this, Pisano EX offers a holistic and comfortable way to track the employee experience in three different stages. So candidate, employee, and the separation stage can all be tracked and managed by one single platform, I can say. And, and also, I would like to add that with Pisan EX, we will be providing a benchmark to the, our customers in our ecosystem, and they will be able to compare themselves with each other, and they can realize that how they can perform in individual stage of the ELC, uh, as I can say, summarize your question. Yeah, yeah. So. So you were just uh, the saying that this ELC score and uh, the ability to manage all three experience states in one single platform definitely. definitely sounds great. And then what else can you just uh, tell us about the platform, Olja? Um, I can proudly say that Pisan EX is not designed for only white color office uh, employees. We are also taking care of the blue color employees by adding blue color specific touch points to the platform. So all these touch points have their unique survey questions specifically tailored to the target audience. By the way, uh, Pisani X not only checks employees lifecycle processes, but also uh, such as uh, important precious moments for employees. Uh, for example, uh, first day at the office or first promotion. So, because we know that these kind of precious moments that matter will be remembered a lifetime. Uh, so tracking experience we provide to our employees at these turning points will be giving us very meaningful insights about their feelings via our AI-based text analysis. Yeah, for sure. Like HR professional would surely appreciate the idea of being able to address all their employee is in a holistic way rather than just only a segment of their workforce or focusing in a single state as we always did because it, the systems we all use the different system but all the systems doesn't allow us uh, to manage all different states in one single platform right yeah, so can you please just share an additional value uh, the employee ex offered to the potential customers yeah, of course. Yeah, I think these smart dashboards where we gather the real-time data and refine its visualized and actionable uh, insights will be important to mention. We believe that leaders should be able to have a quick look uh, at our dashboard and instantly understand what's going on in general or uh, specific departments or plans or uh, et cetera about the employee's experience provided in our system. That's why uh, we can say our dashboards are designed in a smart, lean, and straightforward manner just to serve in this purpose. So, yeah. yeah, exactly. So thank you um, very much, Oljai. So we definitely believe, uh, all we believe that every employee deserve a better experience. Um, so, um, Jeron, uh, is there any questions to answer? Um, there's not a, not, not a yeah, question not yet, yeah, but yeah. I, I would love to emphasize just one little use case, or maybe two, that we saw at employee experience projects uh, before we go to the technology. I mean, we worked for a large factory, um, uh, which has 40 different plants across the globe, creating beautiful cans and creating beautiful things. And there's always this gap between the head office, right? The, mm -hmm. the, the, the guys in the suits, 
uh, and the people actually do the work in the factories. And that's why I love to bridge CX to EX as well. It's like we need to understand how they actually perceive information and how they absorb information. And the reality, what we see is a lot, that they're not always having multi-gig uh, subscriptions with their smartphone. So they communicate on a different way. So we saw that in those factories, the most, uh, uh, the most touch points where they absorb information was just a screen in the canteen, right? Or just a little form where they fill in. And I think that's, it's really important to understand every single persona within our organization and also understand how they perceive information. Another use case is, for example, Dollar Shave Club. They have a beautiful customer service center with agents and also customer service agents. Yeah, I shouldn't say this, but they're always like, yeah, you just have to solve the tickets. However, they're talking to our customers. So providing them with a budget daily on actually make customers happy was an amazing viral marketing trend, how employee experience could actually bring so much value in customer experience. So there are a lot of use cases on collecting the feedback and really bring employee experience, not just towards employee happiness, but also towards marketing and in general, business values. Sorry, go ahead. Thank you, Jeroen. So thank you for clarifying. Um, in the meantime, two, two questions came in. Um, the first one, I will read it out and then we can see together who, who's the best to answer it. But how do companies in luxury industries balance out EX and employee turnover? Um, when there's a balance between how clients feel for what they're paying and the experience that is delivered and how they may treat employees that are providing those experiences and how do companies make sure that they find the, the middle between the two to keep both parties concerned and content. I think if I can rephrase, the question here is, how do we balance out in the luxury industry, high-end luxurious customer experiences with maybe low wages and not so nice employee experiences? And how do luxury companies work to fix that and fix the imbalance between EX and CX? Just, just, just. Which go ahead, which is just one little use case. What you see at luxury retailers like a Celine, where we work for, but also a suit supply, which is a suit retailer in the Netherlands, but already with 150 stores, they gave their store and sales employees an actual page in their website where people actually were able to give reviews. And I think that's a beautiful way how you give your employees actually a face, also looking, uh, looking outside the store. And you give them an actual identity so they feel really responsible and really collect feedback. I think that's a very nice case to uh, to bridge over. Sinem, go ahead. No, no, please. Um, that's, uh, that's, that's the point. Um, so I'm I just trying to add to, to that. Oh, yeah, go, go if, please. If I can add to that, I think Jeroen brought up a very interesting point is the shift that we mentioned in the beginning of customer experience is how companies are reorganizing and have chief experience officers. We also have companies, and especially in the luxury industry, you see it now, that have employee experience officers that are going to look at how is the onboarding? How is the in-store experience? How can I support my employees with the right tools, with the right capabilities, so they can be valued, maybe even gamified, rewarded, based on the value that they bring to the brand? Because especially in retail and physical in-store experiences, the value of the brand, the human representing the brand is the employee. And companies are starting more and more to realize that. And it's not a luxury anymore to have employee experience program. It's, it's a necessity. And that brings us to the question from Mahmoud, where he says, what do you think? Can employee experience affect customer experience or total experience? And I think we all agree that, that this is a big yes, right, Sinem? I think he would agree with us on that one. And you have already answered this question in previous uh, sessions, Jerome, but yeah, it affects in a positive way. It's according to your um, applications on employees. Be it, uh, happy employees, happy customer is the common motto in experience world, but it's really, uh, it's really uh, alive uh, during these years. Oh yeah, for sure. It's if you, if you just create, um, you know, if you foster the psychological safety 
and then really engage the employees, it's automatically impacting the, the all experience and the customer, the partner, et cetera. So, um, so that increased the productivity. It goes to business outcomes, you know, as, as just all three are super related to each other, definitely. I have a question for Sinem and OJ, but because what, what we see a lot happening, and this, that's just the harsh reality, is that I'm an HR director for a retail organization. And my CEO said to me, you know what? We need to do something with employee experience. So as an HR director, I have an IT budget of uh, whatever, uh, a few uh, XK, and I should start collecting some feedback. We all know that just using 5% or 10% from, for example, the Pisano platform is great, of course, because we love every customer, but to actually get to the full spectrum, this should be not just the tool implementation, it should become a program, right? And that's also where TCTA and Pisano work together. Say, hey guys, it's not just one feedback in the onboarding phase. We really need to map that out. How do you, how do you work together with companies to really you know, let them understand that it's not just about any feedback questionnaire, but really about the full journey? Maybe I can add something before CNM says sure. something. Uh, it's, I think it's all about the company culture, Gerald if you have sort of a very transparent or open communication platform to your employees, they can all share all feelings, all expectations, requirements according to their needs. So it will be quite important to serve them or provide them a not only technical platform, the way to explain they, themselves, uh, whatever they need, whatever they feel. So it will be important, I think, in the first phase. Then they can, they can, you can um, develop something about their needs. Yeah. And uh, Olga, you only just shared one screen about the employee lifecycle, but it's very critical, like to really merge everything, like candidate experience, onboarding, uh, development, separation, even alumni experience is something to, to manage. So all of the, these states, are impacting to each other. So that's that's totally something this tool provided because um, when you just focus on one thing, ma mainly it's more easy to manage like recruitment stage, but who focus on exit stage or separation stage. So that's why it's just impacting. It's like a chicken and egg issue sometimes, you know? Yes. So that's why it's just, uh, we need to think about more holistically. So that's why when we start to design the, the tool, we all just consider, yes, I mean, these are the, the stage and these are the, the, the percentage to impact the whole life cycle. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not no, sure. No, it makes sense. And so but, but basically our message could be without teaching anybody anything is that the moment we start mapping out the full life cycle of our employees, let's just locate all our internal colleagues that are working on all these different stages Right, and let's just really make it a broad uh, operation rather than just, you know, a feedback uh, questionnaire exactly. on one single step. Exactly. Okay, let's look at the questions. Um, we have a question here from Zakaria about the EX platform of Pisano. Um, let me read it. Yeah, sure. Accomplishing an EX platform like Pisano serve to market will necessitate a comprehensive approach where individuals, HR efforts are integrated and organizational leaders take responsibility for shaping a positive workplace culture. What do you think are the possible challenges in the integration process between the Pisano EX platform and the company culture evolution? Very good question. Thank you. Right, speaking, we can customize the feature for according to their culture. But uh, as the career mentioned, the organizational leaders take takes very important uh, place uh, while integration uh, process is going. So uh, it will be great if they can really, um, how can I say, uh, feel that. Sun EX or other platforms 
can solve many issues according to employee experience and their needs, uh, it will be much more beneficial to uh, make soft integration with culture and also the Sun EX platform and other platforms. Sinan, would you like to add something? Yeah, yeah, I mean, um, so it's a very valid point because it's not just uh, the platform and every, it's like an organism, you know, every culture, every company has their own culture, very specific, some of them. So that's why analyzing uh, the culture and even maybe consulting the the process in the process I don't know the HR directors or the the manager and that during this integration it's definitely crucial to to think about um, the different needs so because we were just discussing about the uh, HR maturity not all HR have all stage so that means the tool cannot serve for all stage so when we think about the maturity of the HR, the maturity of the tool, even the not just the culture, the, the current company's current tools, how we are going to integrate to each other, like how we're going to make them to talk each other. So it's 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 important, but I think coaching and uh, those co-creating is critical in the process, like because not just the you know the tool and using it, it should create the uh, we we need to integrate the tool together otherwise it cannot really uh strengthen the those employee experience or cannot help the the hr department exactly to analyze the data or see the results yeah, and i think that's uh that brings us to you know what, what we discussed on let's let's have a look at the full spectrum uh, let's first analyze analyze what we really need from a full perspective from a full customer journey however the technologies from today, like Pisano, uh, with partners of customer experience, like customer experience agency, makes it possible within just weeks or a few months to start at least at one step of that journey and to bring things to life. And I think to, to summarize uh, the three elements we discussed today for the last 90 minutes, and that's, uh, I mean, a big, big compliment to Pisano, but also to the T6A team. We, we had a conversation a couple of months ago about, hey, guys, how could we really bring something to life and, uh, without just mentioning a new buzzword? Like, it's easy for us, like a technology provider like Pisano and a business consultancy provider, it's easy to just bring in another buzzword. But we really chose today to focus on that total experience from that three-layered approach, right? From a customer experience, from a partner slash B2B experience in the ecosystem but also from an employee experience. And in essence, if we talk about customer experience, those three layers are just the key. And especially the key to collect feedback across every different step within that journey. So um, it, it was a challenge for us. We stretched ourselves to bring this to life, but we were, you know, I think also talk for Pisano that we're inspired by your feedback, by your questions, and also together with you guys, bring in that next generation of practicality to life on the right level of business and technology. Enzo, any famous last words? Well, thank you. Thank you, Jeroen. Thank you to everybody, all the participants, all the panelists. Um, I think it was a very valuable and interesting webinar. Um, we had some great questions. Um, we went into some details that were super, super important to understand the realm of total experiences and what we mean by total experiences. And, um, and yeah, thank you, everybody. We look forward to engaging with you all, all the participants, maybe later down the line, helping you realize improved, better, positive customer experiences. So thank you everybody for your time and uh, stay, stay in tune for our next webinar coming up very soon.